Welcome to CivilNet. My guest is Amalia Yaroyan. She is the Executive Director of Gumri Information Technology Center, GITC. So the organization aims to transform Armenia's second largest town, Gumri, into a tech hub by supporting the development and expansion of the labor market in the field of information and technologies. Thank you for joining us, Amalia. Thank you for invite. So uh, GITC is an educational foundation. Uh, it trains residents in the Chirac region, which includes also the town of Gyumri, uh, on new technologies. Why Gyumri? Uh, Gyumri Information Technology Center was founded in 2005 by uh, donors, by uh, people who cared about Gyumri and uh, wanted were with the goal not to give fish to eat, but rather to teach how to fish. Uh, this was the key mission, and when Fund for Armenian Relief Donors visited Cumbria in 2005, uh, one of them was a technology person. So he met with polytechnic young people and uh, came out being sure that it's time to bring technology to Cumbria, to give technological skills to the young people in Cumbria. So instead of migrating, migrating from the city, they would attract companies to Cumbria. So, the mission was to bring employment opportunities in technology in Gyumri, and apart from having Gyumri as cultural capital of Armenia, making Gyumri the second biggest hub of technology in Armenia. And the results are here. Uh, now we are not saying Shirag region, but GITC, and these programs are all in all Armenia. Mm -hmm. Not only in Shirag region, but also in Yerevan. Yes. You, you recently opened also an office here, I yeah. think. Yeah, we opened branch in Yerevan, which is a very unique case because in general, Yerevan uh, founded companies open branches in Gyumri, but this successful model became required also by Yerevan young people. So now we have office here with many smart students. And in Yerevan, our key goal is to collaborate with private sector companies uh, to um, educate, uh, give skill set uh, as per employment need among the tech companies. So we work together with Disco, Smart Click, and other companies to develop curriculum, attract applicants. The companies have uh, workshops. Uh, so instead of complaining that there are not uh, enough resources in technology, we put efforts, foundation and private sector, by the help of our donors from uh, from the US, Fund for Armenian Relief, to educate this skill set and create employment opportunities. Mm -hmm. So um, you have also designed new courses and programs uh, targeting special groups. One is for soldiers of the 2020 Karabakh War. You are starting program courses for the participants of the 40-40 day war and the families of the killed soldiers. Are they participants only from Gyumri or from the whole Shira Shirak region? And do you think why do you think it is important to have them attend these courses? Uh, as I mentioned, the GITC programs uh, are now available for all Armenia and our goal is especially to empower regions uh, and to involve regional people in technology education. So we speak about two key activities of GITC. Uh, traditional activities which involve uh, include uh, technological educational program and uh, general partnerships uh, targeted uh, to empower uh, groups and people who we want uh, to stay in Armenia and to work in Armenia. So after Arsakh war, we have had discussions with our donors, our partners, and uh, it, it's wonderful. They want to support Arsakh war participants, uh, both Fund for Armenian Relief, Armenian Engineers and Scientists of America, AESA, group of engineers. And uh, also recently we have another important uh, project for Jambarak, uh, which is uh, funded with Eurasian Yevra uh, Partnership uh, Foundation. Uh, so um, these projects are targeted to give technological skill set to Artsakh war veterans and the family members. The goal is uh, to bring them to a readiness to be able to work. And uh, the key important part of it is that we also provide laptops, computers, uh, so they can also work remotely after graduating. So last year we had 100 um, war veterans in Davush, supported by Amkor Armenia. Uh, funded by Amkor Armenia and uh, CCD organization in Davos. And uh, right now we are starting in Jambarak. Uh, the funds come from European Union and GITC is partnering, as I mentioned, with uh, Eurasia Foundation, Partnership Foundation. 
So, and there are already more than 50 applicants, 50 soldiers. Uh, also, we have in Gyumri and in other, from other regions, supported by Armenian engineers and scientists of America. I want to say thank you to all our donors as we see the change among the war veterans. When we first started, they were um, so sad. I didn't know even, our team didn't know how to approach. But we not only see technological, educational skill set development among them, but psychological renaissance, which is more important for now. And uh, why do you think that uh, developing technology in Armenia is so important for the country? What is lacking here that you're going to fulfill in some way? Uh, because Armenia has uh, natural resource, human brain, and we know this is uh, our only resource that needs to be fed accordingly so as to serve the country. So technology is the right industry, right direction to empower young people, to empower country economy, as uh, firstly there are job vacancies and available employment opportunities in this sector. Secondly, there are many multinational companies in Armenia that brought technology and uh, educational programs like Synopsis in Polytechnic and other organizations. Uh, and uh, thirdly, it doesn't matter where the expert is sitting, for example, in Davos, Shirag, or in Yerevan, or in California, they are available to work and to make money accordingly. Because technology is the sector where skill set, brain, creativity, and talent matter. Um, we talked about uh, empowerment. There is also another program related to women. So, uh, so you, you launched a program that is called Women's Economic Empowerment in the High Productivity Sector. So first, could you tell us what is high productivity? And um, are women in Armenia absent from the IT sector that you decided to boost more uh, this targeted group? Uh, I'm happy to share that Armenia is uh, the country in the world where the women in technology have very high percentage. More than 30% of females uh, are involved in technology center, which is the highest in the world. And um, again, after the war, uh, this uh, became very important uh, to involve women in the sector uh, where they can easily find a job. Uh, especially in the families where we have wounded soldiers and uh, men are not capable to work, but they have been working to keep family. Now it's uh, women's turn to work and uh, to keep the family. Uh, so the project uh, was suggested and was initiated actually by the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs. And the funding comes uh, from the Embassy of UAE in Yerevan and Zayed Charity Foundation. Uh, so and they selected GITC um, as implementing agency because uh, we sent our proposal and it was accepted. Uh, so the goal is um, to uh, develop skill set of technology among uh, females, but not just females, but single moms who take care for their kids alone without any other support. And this project is only for Shirak region. We had, uh, now we have uh, more than 100 applicants from different cities and villages of Shirak region. We will select only 24, but as the embassy and ambassador of UAE um, like promised a little, there is a possibility to continue the project in future if we will succeed in pilot stage. So this is um, technological education skill set like web programming, social media marketing, business development. We will provide computers again for the best graduates of single moms who will be able to work from home. And the transportation also will be supported. So we do everything to empower women with skill set and make them understand that it's not about gender, but it's about professionalism, to have job and uh, to be happy having the loved job. And from what, uh, what age are they? When do they start? 18 until what? Uh, age does not matter. We have criteria about uh, they should be single, they should have two and more kids, and uh, they should have the willingness uh, to work and uh, to have the motivation uh, to get with us to find desired job and to be employed. Okay. And then last question, do you think Armenia's labor market can handle these new trainees? Um, are, we feel, are we more feeling an already existing demand? You talked about this. Or is the aim of GITC to create investment and then create demand? 
since its foundation, GITC was working according to the demand uh, from the labor market. And for us, our key partners are private sector representatives because our donors and Fund for Armenian Relief, they demand uh, employment results. We would not be able to secure employment if our curriculum does not meet the requirements of the companies they need people. Uh, Armenian market, technology market, uh, has gaps uh, job vacancies, but sometimes it's confusing because it's not about they need junior or beginner level people, but the companies need senior level and really high professional people. So when we speak about the numbers, we should also speak about the quality that is required. And we should very well understand that this is not about learning coding for three months or four months. This is about to have good mathematical and algorithmic background to be able to enter the technological market, having this six month course like an extra uh, in specific uh, f sector, in specific field of technology. Yes, in Armenia, technology is developing. Uh, yes, the education, traditional education, cannot yet manage to provide required number. But the foundations like GITC, thanks to donors and partners, tries its best, uh, best um, to have these specialists for the employment market and for the high-tech industry in Armenia. Well, thank you very much, Amalia Jan, for this talk. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting uh, thank you for watching and continue to follow CivilNet.